off, I'ma make an example. Or for 30 is nothing I can't do. And y'all bitches is rental. Clothes don't waste for the f more rental. That's not 
couple of days because the same clip the same clip been playing in my head over and over and over again you know what I'm saying but you know chat um, I'm not gonna lie to you bruh I think that this is another another journey of my life and I told him that and I said it's time for me to lock in and start training bruh I'm gonna be real, you know what I'm saying? People gonna always have something to say. You gonna get knocked down a million times. But me personally, I will never quit. You know what I'm saying? So whether whatever journey it is in my life, you know, me getting knocked out, me getting knocked to the ground, I'm gonna always get back up a million times. You know what I'm saying? I will never stay on the ground for too long. You know what I'm saying? I was gone for three days. But man, we locked back in, bruh, and we got another journey of my life that I really am. Uh, I'm gonna take this serious, man. I found I found a boxing gym. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get trained up and we're gonna be ready the next time. You feel me? We're not just gonna hop out there. Um I'm just kinda explain uh, you know, where I am and where my head is as it pertains to the to, to the fight. But uh, trust me, before I start uh, anything, you know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be ready next time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Chat. I've been looking at this for every day since it happened, y'all. And you know what I'm saying? I really, I really been locking back in, bro. Like. You know, I ain't got nothing but a smile on my face because I feel like everything happens for a reason. So you gotta take it with a grain of salt, bro. You can't just you can't just give up, man. And a lot of people in my position, my corner, would have gave up. You know, people just commenting, people commenting. You know what I'm saying? Under my pictures, people commenting on me, my TikTok. You know, people sending it to me. And, uh, where it really hit me was. You know, people that I love, my loved ones, is checking in on me. You know, making sure I'm okay. And that's where it really hit me. Like, you can't just be doing stuff. You know, people throw money out there, but it really is. It really is a. It really is a serious game. It's a serious game. It's a serious matter. Um, but I really feel like it's a. It's a. It's a, it's a it's a journey in my life that I want to pursue because I want to show y'all how serious it is to me, man. Um, I think that what happened, 
you know, going into a situation, I'm not making excuses, bro. I got knocked out, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. It happened, it happens to the best of us. The best fighters get knocked out. Um, but I went into it unprepared. I, I, was, I wasn't ready. I knew I wasn't ready, but I, I would never back down from nothing. You know, so you it was a challenge that was brought to me, and you know, I, I was willing to take it head on, and I'm willing to take it head on again. And, and Chad, if I'm being honest, if, if that same situation happened, I would want the exact same thing to happen because me getting knocked out didn't just like get tired, get loose. It didn't necessarily. Get tired, them things should be coming out real loose. And it wasn't sharp. all negative. It wasn't 100 negative, y'all. It was. It was actually, you know, good in some ways. You know, um, it, it has caused me to be more disciplined. You know, it has caused me to actually work for something, y'all. So, um, I'm ready. And whenever it's time for me to fight again, trust me, bro. I, I, I will be ready again, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just let you know, bro. I'm not upset. I'm just letting you know, bro. If I would have won the fight, if I would have went into this fight, I'd have been drinking liquor, I'd have been, I'd have been partying, doing all this negative shit. So I feel like everything happens for a reason, y'all. Me getting knocked out, you know, it, it might have felt bad at the time, but you know, it, it's a situation that makes me want to improve. It makes me want to step in that ring again, y'all. So that won't be the last time y'all see me in that ring. And y'all can translate that message to Aiden. There you go, betrayal. We're gonna be in here working, y'all. Trust me. We're gonna be in here working. They didn't got me right. Yeah. We're gonna be in here working. Trust me. In due time, I'm gonna be ready. Trust me, bro. I'm gonna be ready, bro. Put them last couple ones together. We'll be ready, y'all. Gotta steal that round. Um, there you go. Good fucking slip. Uh, I back. felt like, you know, what happened? Bed, what happened? happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm gonna just explain what, where I was in the situation. Uh, oh. When it happened, y'all, uh, it was just a, like a flash, like literally. When I got in the ring, yeah, shit. And I knew that, like, I, I, I didn't, oh. like, I, like I said, nobody thinks they're gonna get knocked out, right? So, when I got in the ring with him, and, you know, I was moving around, I was making sure I was moving, he just, he just hit me with a clean punch, bro. It was clean, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was a clean punch. It connected, and right when it happened, just... I think you came over my, my dad, like yeah. everything just went black. Everything went black. Literally, everything went black. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I didn't, I didn't even register what happened until I was sitting down. And I, 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 I had, it was so bad that I didn't even know that I had fought. I'm asking people around me, like, bro. Remember Tuesday, Thursday, we could push it. Did I even fight yet? Like, I'm asking people, like, did I fight? What happened? Like, I'm asking niggas, did I fight, bro? Like, I'm like, what happened? Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to fight now. Like, I'm like, I'm ready. Like, but immediately I get this crazy ass headache. Like, I'm like, yo. Like, I'm looking around. Everybody's standing around. And they looking at me, Richard, like, bro, you fought, bro. You just, you just got knocked out. I said, no, I said no, bro. I thought I was in a dream. I thought I was in a dream. I thought like, bro, like this is not real. Like he said, I got knocked out. I said no, I didn't, bro. Like, what happened? What happened, bro? And he's like, yeah, bro, you got knocked out, bro. He hit you with a clean punch. And so, like, immediately when I realized that I got knocked out. I started to think like, bro, like, who's seen it? Like, I'm trying to like register what's going on. I'm like, bro, what happened? I'm still in disbelief about it actually happening. Like me actually getting knocked out. And like, right when it happened, man, I'm just trying to like get it into my head. Like how bad it looked. I'm trying to figure out how bad it looked. Cause 
Because if, if I can't even remember what happened, like, I promise you, I don't even remember what happened. Like, everything just started to come together. I'm like, bro, I did get in that ring. I don't even remember getting out of the ring when I'm knocked out. I don't remember. I just remember sitting down, everybody telling me, like, but I, the only thing I do remember is Aiden coming up to me, and my first words out of my mouth was, <laughs> my first words out of my mouth when Aiden Ross came up to me was, rematch. Need it. I need a rematch, you know. Um, I, I didn't take it serious that Jaden, you know, had been training, um, but... It's like coming from him. He's my trainer's back there. He's gonna start training me. Um, and he's gonna prepare me for the next time I fight. Um, but he told me he said one thing, bro, is that you were not prepared at all. He told me you weren't prepared at all, and you know, if you don't have no type of training, you're not gonna be ready. And regardless of it, if the other person is a fighter or not, boxing and street fighting are two completely different things. And he was just like, man. The next time you get out there, you're going to be ready. I'm going to have you ready. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to this new journey. You feel me? I feel like everything that happened was supposed to happen, bro. It was supposed to happen this way. And I don't know. If I look at it in, in a bad way, then, you know, I'm going to just quit. But I'm not a quitter, bro. Everybody knows I don't quit. And uh, it's tough, but we're going to get through it, man. And. Like I said, it happens, bro. It happens. It happens, y'all. Um, yeah, man. This is the gym I'll be in. Hold on, I can't see what y'all saying. <laughs> Oh yeah, chat. Don't ban nobody. I'm nobody unless y'all know it for whatever reason. But yeah, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited, bro. I appreciate. I appreciate all the negativity. I appreciate all the support. You know, I appreciate it, bro. Cause whatever it is, they gonna um. It's just gonna drive me to be better, bro. So I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate everybody, bro. This really like opened my mind, it opened my head. I appreciate all the subs. Everybody that's came in here and subbed up, I appreciate that. Um, said you got a bag, we asked around, he said you did. Wait, what does Melt Future 27 mean? What does that mean? No, why are y'all saying, why are y'all saying they get extra? What does that mean? Oh, because of Jake Future. I'm crying, bro. Nah. But yeah, I already, I already knew this was going to come with trolls. You know, I got, I got. Within the last two days, I prepared myself, you know, for shit like this. Um, I prepared myself, so. I'm already ready for this, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, you got a bag, we asked around this is in a position to really work for something, bro. And we gonna be, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna be in here every day, bro. I told him, he said we gonna have you in here every day, bro. So I'm gonna get right, bro. I thought I knew the half of it, but that's where your pride come in. My pride came in, and you know I stepped in that ring. I denied the headgear. Um, I denied the headgear, and I shouldn't have, bro. It was my pride, bro. But my all of my pride is put to the side. You know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be alive. 
a lot of people told me it's it's hard to make it out of situations like that. You know, you can have brain damage. You know, I'm God. God, literally, I'm, but I'm fine, bro. I'm good, bro. I can put a mo on. I can use everything. I can speak well. I don't got no type of brain damage. So God is good, bro. He gave me another day to fight another battle, man. So the chat is the least of my worries right now. You feel what I'm saying? I've been fighting. And like I said, with every situation, it's just made me stronger, bro. That's why I'm just so, I'm grateful to God, bro. I'm grateful to God, bro. God is good. God is good, bro. So, I thank y'all, bro. I thank y'all. And whether you here or not, whether you here for today and tomorrow because of the hype, or you here for the entire journey, y'all going to see the difference. Y'all going to see the difference. I'm telling y'all, I hopped in that ring with no training. They going to get me sharp. I'm telling y'all. He going to get me sharp, bro. And when I get sharp, I'm going to give all the glory to God, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just happy to be alive. I'm happy to be safe. You know what I'm saying? But man, I can't wait to see how far I come, man. Uh, yeah. And trust me, you know, even though it was a serious situation, trust me, I laughed too. I laughed too. So that also helps me understand, like, bro, you know, it's gonna be people that troll. Like I got knocked out nationally, bro. Like, everybody's seen it, bro. You know what's crazy? Is that I have viral clips, right? I have viral clips. But for whatever reason, the only thing that people have reacted to is literally the clip of me getting knocked out. Every streamer reacted to it. Everyone. And, you know, it's just like, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. But it's gonna be a process. It's definitely gonna be a process. But I'm here for it, y'all. I'm here for the grind. It gave me something to work for. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna do boxing strains, but just know I'm working, y'all. Just know I'm working. I'm working, bro. And, uh, you know, I wanted to just let y'all know that everything beforehand, beforehand was for the, for the promotion of the fight. Like, the things that I was saying is, was something that I felt like forced to say because me and Jaden were cool. Me and Jaden were cool um, before the fight. There was no animosity. We was cool. You feel what I'm saying? Um... There, there was like, there was no animosity, bro. I wasn't, we weren't angry. We were, we were literally dapping each other up, you know, after even when I fought Haycats, you know what I'm saying? But I felt like, you know, after the fight, me watching it, you know, I lost respect. I lost respect for Jaden due to the fact that like, you know what I'm saying? You knocked me out, bro. And, and when you did it, you came and you punched me while I was on the ground. And you know, I, I forgive you. I forgive you for that. You know, uh, I forgive you for that, you know. You came and stood over me. I forgive you for that, bro. I forgive you for everything. But, you know, it's just like, it's just like that. The respect isn't there, bro. Because, like, vice versa, I feel like it's not something I would do to somebody. But at the same time, he came to me. He apologized for it. Um, but you still did it, though. That's what I told him when he told me he did it. I, I told him, I said, bro, you still did it. You feel me? But at the same time, it's just like, it's like, But yeah, but best believe we're gonna get right. You know, I didn't come here to train, but this is where I will be training at, y'all. Um, he has, he trains a lot of professional fighters. Um, but we're gonna be in here working, y'all. Every day we're gonna be in here working. Um, but yeah, man. But yeah, y'all. 
I need it, bro. I need that work. So I'm gonna get that work. Trust me, bro. We gonna be working. We gonna be grinding, and we gonna be ready for the next fight, man. I can't see the sub. So if you subbed up or you gift it, I appreciate it. We gonna bounce back, bro. We gonna bounce back. We gonna work every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that. Hold on, y'all. I gotta take these pictures down. Hold on, I gotta take these pictures down. I appreciate you. We're gonna we gonna start working. That's yours right here. Yeah. Okay. Shifting and putting those angles together with them hooks. Yeah, that was sweet, bro. Do you have anything you, you want to say to them or no? Huh? Do you have anything you want to say to them or no? No, I got nothing to say about it. Yeah. Well, you can just explain to them like you can just explain to them like who you are and like what you do. It's up to you though. You don't have to. But I have some of that already out there. Oh, you already do. Okay, so they already know who you are. I got a whole book. Oh, you got a whole book. Well, not a whole book, but about five pages in the magazine. Nah, this is the same song. So you got about eight weeks, so it's time to go. Said you got a bag, we asked around, they said you did. Yeah. Uh. Hold on, my phone. Appreciate to get this up. Hold on. I don't know why y'all can't see our alert box. No, I was asking because I have like alerts. I, I can see who gets, I can't see who gets right now. My phone is dead. This phone right here? Nah, yeah, that phone is dead. That's an iPhone. Yeah. 
Is it iPhone? Yeah. It'll take a minute to charge this one. <laughs> My phone say dead. Yeah. Y'all keep asking me if I got paid. No, I did not get paid yet. No. <laughs> yo, yo, why y'all telling me to bask up? Whoa, why y'all losing it? Wait, wait, he paid everybody else? Yeah. I mean, you know, he's gonna be a good punch bag, and he's gonna keep doing it. Yeah, but he ain't gonna be nothing that you gotta be like, you know, nah, that's what you gotta be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, so I, I just, I, I guess I just gotta wait. Y'all gotta wait until, y'all gotta wait until he pay everybody. I think he's gonna pay everybody at the same time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight spark. Yeah. Now you got rich. Yeah. Probably one of them kinds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't too many of them. Working back with me? Yeah, I heard that. What's that? Who would have thought? Who would have thought, bro? You know. I told Richard he should pull up. I sent him the address. He's gonna, he gonna pick me up and we gonna get up out of here. Yeah, for sure. Not happening, yo. Um, I'm, 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 I'm good now. Chat, I'm good. I'm free, bro. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It happens, bro. My car is in the shop. Chat, my car is in the shop, y'all. So I don't have no car. Um, I pay for an Uber out to the gym. Cause I'm I'm this serious, man. Like I put my car in the shop. It's just time to get my life back on track. I think that that was more so what it's about. I think that's more so what it's about, bro. And I'm it's about me not running away from a challenge. I'm not running away from a challenge, bro. Plenty of people said don't hop back in that ring, but I already know I am. And I just had a, I had a conversation I had a conversation with God. He told me, he just said, like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure when you go back in the ring, you know what you're really doing it for. When I, hop, when I hopped in this ring, bro, it's something that y'all won't understand. It's really, like, something that I'm dealing with. When I hopped in that ring, I didn't pray. I didn't do none of that. I wasn't doing it for, I wasn't doing it for him. I was doing it for the money. I was doing it out of, for clout. I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. And that's why I got knocked out. I got knocked out. 
Like, I'm just make sure, like, you know, I get back in there, I know what I'm doing it for, bro. But, uh, you know I mean? that's really what it is, bro. I didn't do none of that. Went in there, went in there and got knocked out. But, uh, but yeah, though. What is come TK say? Why I say gazer, gazer? to respond because my phone is dead. Y'all, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm gonna still be the same person, though. And we still gonna be streaming. Like, it's just the fact that, bro, I just got knocked out, bro. Simple as that. But, um, he had the, he had the advantage the entire time. You know, he had been training. Taller, stronger, and you know, it's okay. Like, I'm gonna get my rematch. We're gonna be right there. No excuses. No excuses. But they on that bag, though. They on that bag, though. Right here. We're gonna be right here. No excuses. No excuses, just all work. All work. All work. We're gonna be all work. I'm being here, we're gonna be working. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. We're gonna be in here every day. You know, the thing is, I'm, I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet on what I'm making out of this. And chat, should I should I stream this? Should I stream this or should I just not stream it? I don't think I should stream it. I don't think I should, bro. That's what I was saying. I'm just gonna be locked in on the train, y'all. I'm being here every day. Every day, bro. So y'all gotta y'all gotta make sure. Oh no no no, we in here every day. Every day. Ain't no once a week, we in here every day. Oh. 
Oh, you saying record it once a week? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Is he streaming? He blocked you? He in here? So why is he not responding, bro? I'm not doing a 20v1, bro. A nigga want me to do a 20v1 right now. I'm not doing a 20v1. I need to go to Target. That's what I need to do. Also need to talk about the Mar situation. I don't know if y'all seen what's going on with No Love Mar. Who's been seeing that? Who's seen that? Okay, so I gotta get. I gotta get my. Little Mike, Little Mike, Little Mike, buddy. My Uber three minutes away. He a student, the bullets dismiss him. Feel like I'm Curry, I shoot from a distance. I might give her a D like a piston. There, four niggas all in my business. Listen. 